I don't think it's the best idea to go meet up with some creepy dude who you think killed your dad. You don't need to worry about Amber Schwarzman de la Cruz. She grew up on the mean streets of Las Vegas and she clawed her way out. I prefer the other. I'm not wearing a lace collar, mom. Yeah, mom, come on. Well, what do I know? I've only been to many more weddings than either of you. Yeah, in the 80s. Burn! Yo, mom! Ay, Dios mío. Oh, my God. You're naked! You're naked! You're naked! You're naked! You're naked! I like seeing people naked. What? Mateo, no. Keep your clothes on. I want to be naked, too. No, it is much worse if you are also naked. That's not fair. Well, I'm allowed to be naked because I'm a grown-up. Why do you have so much hair there? Because it's natural. My mom doesn't have hair there. I imagine she feels immense pressure to transform her body to adhere to beauty constructs which are actually perverse and subjugating. You know what, Cassie? Women, Cassie, women need to understand their power. No, oh, well, Alma, what are you doing? Uh, this happens sometimes, you know? What happens sometimes? I'm suddenly places. Are we in mom's attic? Yeah, well, there's this thing I became obsessed with. Your mother wanted me to throw it out, but I knew it would come in handy one day, so I hid it up here. I miss the attic. When I was a teenager, I used to get high scores on my tests by coming up here and studying. Oh. Hey, what's up? We want to know if you want to come to the food tasting. Food tasting? What is it, like a weird way of asking me to lunch? Would you like to come to the nutrition in the mouth time? For the wedding, the caterers are bringing samples to Reed's parents' house. Is this food thing a free thing? It's going to be very free and very fun. And there's a mustard tasting of over seven mustards. We already made plans, but we will do our best to make it to the next thing. Good, then we'll see you at the Easter Vigil tonight. Father Miguel asked her to light that big fancy candle. She's very excited. The Pascal candle. I will do my best. OK, see you there. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye. <laughs> and although I am strongly against the whole father giving away the bride bullshit, as if the bride were her father's property, now being handed off to her new owner, I mean, the fact that we still practice this, it's complete insanity. Woo! <laughs> see, this guy knows what I'm talking about. Beautiful, that and it wasn't yours. I'm not trying to ruin your life. Believe it or not, I'm trying to help you. You don't want to marry Reed? Oh, right, I get it. He's white and he's rich, That's so you don't like point. him. Well, what is the point? Because we're broken people, OK? And broken people break people. No, I'm not broken. Ooh. OK. You are so insanely self-involved, you don't even know all the things that are wrong with you. No, I do. Trust me. You know what? Here's your ring. You can try to hold on to it. Wait! What? Just, um, keep him away from the water. Please. I, I don't understand. Alma. What's in the water? Look, nothing, nothing. Alma's just, just... Listen to me right now. You need to get him swim lessons, OK? I know I sound crazy, but I'm just trying to help. OK. It's OK, Alma. We'll sign him up. Thank you. OK, Nance. Wow. You lost someone, too. I can feel it. Your little sister disappeared a long time ago. How, how do you know that? Sometimes you still catch yourself looking for her. See, I, I, I do that with my dad, too. And you feel the same about Sophia. Yes, I, I, I do. And if I could just find out who broke in, maybe I could get some answers. Maybe I could stop looking. I don't know if we have files from 2002. Can you please just check? Nancy, just this once. Reed gave me his grandmother's locket. His grandma wore it for 72 years. She died wearing it. Oh, that's creepy. No, it's nice. Oh, so why are you crying? Because I cheated on him. Oh. And then again last week. No shit, really? I don't know why I keep doing this. Because you're human and you're not perfect, which is <sighs> totally perfect and wonderfully human. Should I tell him? Do you want to marry this guy? I do. Well, then marry him. 
and then go to counseling. I don't know, but you can't tell him before the wedding. I just feel so bad. And you should feel bad because you cheated on your fiance. I know. But that doesn't mean you should make him feel bad. He didn't do anything. Okay. All right, then after the wedding. Way after. You gotta enjoy this day. This is your day. I'm just so sorry, you know? I'm sorry. I know, babe. Would you walk me down the aisle with mom? You know, cause dad can't be here. Becca, I would love to. <laughs> Come here, you. We can't really move in this dress. I know, it's really firm. Yeah, it's very firm. It's very tight.